Good morning. Welcome to Options Tender. It is Friday. We made it. January 22nd. We are having a down day, it looks like, today, which we anticipated. Uh, we'll get into that in the lower time frame, but we'll start with the higher time frames to move our way down. And then we have some names going into next week for you. So if you like this information, please subscribe. Hit the like button right now. And if you're new to this, this video is out just a little bit earlier than usual. I didn't do a video last night, so I want to make sure that we got you guys prepped. If you do like this a little earlier, if this helps, I can do this every morning at around 6 to 7 o'clock rather than 8. Okay, so let's get into it. The ES on the monthly chart, we are working on wave 5 right now. Elliott wave 5. We're pushing the candles really bullish, getting away from that 8MA. MACD is cross to the upside. We're on the weekly. We're looking super bullish as well. We, um, let's see here. One, two, three, Elliott wave four. We're working on five still. We're pushing, we started to push out of this breakout range. It looks like we're back into the balance. Um, we'll see how that goes for today to end the week. That we'll be telling for our next candle. On the daily, trend is our friend. All right, we're working on a minute wave. One, two, three. We don't really think this uh, wave three is over. We do believe by our Elliott wave count on a lower time frame, we'll do that in the uh, 65 minute, that we have one more push to the upside. Not too dissimilar from um, right here, for example. This is a the beginning of a wave four where we come down and then you have a little bit movement up till we get to the five and that's where the next count starts. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. We have the 65 minute chart. Let's put in all our trend lines and levels. Okay, we have Elliott wave one, two, three, four, and we're working on wave five. Five we don't think is finished yet. We think this is the end of three in this uh, in this last wave here. So we're moving down on four. We said this on last night's video. We thought, um, you know, hey, we might move down to this area here at 38.25. But if that does not hold, which it, it is not currently this morning, uh, we have this um, minor wave or minor wave, <laughs> minor level right here, which there's confluence with the flag breakout, the level, the 100 and the 200 MA is all right here. So, you know, this might be uh, the place where we make a good bounce and we'll probably take our put protection off uh, around the opening bell around this area. If it comes down there, that's what we're looking for. Our next target here. And if that doesn't hold our last level uh, is this trend line. If it goes under here, then we, we have something wrong with our wave count. Something's happening because this is by Elliott wave rules. This is wave one in of wave one. The uh, wave four should not overlap it. So that's just a little thing there for you. Um, I do want to show you, uh, we, we did hit this target. We have our um, options expected move right here. We nailed it. We nailed it. It held the price action and it's keeping it into the range. There's our bottom range there that uh, we didn't go that route. But um, I also want to show you the Fibonacci extension from the bottom of wave one up to the top of wave one and down to bottom of wave two. And just notice how close it came to this golden Fibonacci 618 um, or, uh, extension. Just a beautiful, uh, beautiful move. Just working with the um, the technicals beautifully. So we're also going to um, do this uh, Fibonacci retracement. So we want to go from um, wave three. We want to see how wave four retraces. So we're going to go from the bottom of wave three to the top of wave three. And right now we are right at the 50% retracement. So that's, that's definitely a spot where um, price can bounce and or um, it could actually hold as a level. So, you know, it could it could bounce here. 
doesn't quite look like there's forming any doji or anything like that. So we uh, look at this perfectly. The 61.8 is right on that um, confluence level. It just adds on to the layers here. Beautiful spot. So we'll probably be looking right there to put on a um, not only we may even day trade a, a, a spy call, but we know how shenanigans we always talk about wave four given us shenanigans so just craziness on wave four we usually don't trade it but if we hit this golden spot right here you know i'll take a shot on that we'll, we'll just do a a nice day trade if it's not too late in the um in the friday day okay so i already have my fibonacci set on um these four names um i'm really liking for next week okay so first we have zoom Zoom, we already entered this yesterday. Um, this is a, it looks like a wave one. And coming down to wave two, now we hit this uh, 38.2 Fibonacci. And real shallow, but we do think uh, Zoom is one of those trenders. So we think that one, uh, plus we had a one, two, three, four, five uh, retracement. So we think that retracement is over and it's ready to go. Fubo. Taking your time, taking your time. Fubo. Now we already started the wave count here. One, two, three, and we're finishing off wave four. Already made our up move yesterday. It was beautiful. We took our profits, rolled out a um, a, a uh, later date. I think we went into the 29th or so with some calls. And uh, we're looking for that retracement again. So we have this um, trend line here to act as support. And then we have that 38.2 it's at right now. Maybe you come down to the 50%, not sure, but we are already in this one. So uh, we're not too concerned about where we leave off here, unless it just started breaking levels all the way down. And then we, if we come down past, um, what would it be? The point right here, this candle. If we came under 30, we uh, our wave count is just wrong. So Neo. All right, Neo, Neo, what's that, Matrix? Neo. Um, okay, so we had our huge wave four retracement, and we do believe that uh, that is over. We had a wave one, real shallow wave two, and we're working on the minute wave one down to two, and we're at that golden Fibonacci 61.8. We can go all the way down to the bottom of this wave two and if we uh if we breach this area here then our wave count is wrong and we may be in a descending triangle i mean that's always a possibility okay um we always want to keep our options open and that's where our stop will be know when you're wrong folks know when you're wrong deking all right draft king we had a huge wave one we waited for wave two retracement and Beautiful. We love that. It looks like a megaphone. Um, now we're on a minute wave one. Coming back to two. And we believe that two is over. And now we're doing a smaller wave one and two retracement. So again, we're at that 61.8. That's also a gap. Um, a gap, I guess, support, we'd call it right there. Um, if we decide to fill that gap or come all the way back down to 100% retracement, you know, that's all valid. It, it's all, but our stop is underneath this candle right here. We go under there, then um, this retracement, this A, B, C was not correct. It's probably going deeper as in a A, B, C, somewhere much lower here. So, okay, so that does it. Um, just know when you're wrong, but today I do expect a bounce going into next week and finishing off the last wave for um, that wave five. So still bullish, looking at the individual names. Don't get caught up in the shenanigans of wave four. Um, stick with us. We'll be doing a weekend review of um, of everything. We'll get deep into there and we could do a class on Fibonacci. Just put in the common area anything that you uh, might want me to cover, any trade ideas or um, any, th any of the uh, tools that we use to layer on to to, to you know build up our case. But hit the like button if you like this information. Um, other than that, thank you and good luck trading.